Hi everyone, it's Andrew here and I'm here with a quick book haul. This is a book haul for all you Marilyn fans because yes, it is a Marilyn book haul finally. I have 10 Marilyn books to show you that I didn't show you in my um, Marilyn bookshelf tour. So these are either all new, apart from one which was should have been on the bookshelf tour but I missed it because uh, I put another book in front of it and that was really stupid. So let's get started. Now the first three books I've got are fiction and they are part of a series that's been self-published on Amazon called The Living Blonde uh, Trilogy by Alison Rushby. Um, so the first one is called Diamonds Are a Teen's Best Friend and it follows the story between uh, about from ooh, it follows Nessa Joanne Mulholland who is listed as Mary Rose number one teenage fan Right, okay. Um, she's used to moving house, but this time she's relocating in a movie star style, crossing the Atlantic on board the Majestic. She's bringing her cringe fest professor dad along for the ride and sharing a cabin that's five decks below sea level. At least Holly Isles is on board. Yes, really that Holly Isles star of stage and screen. And suddenly things are looking a little Marilyn as events begin strangely mirroring Nessa's favorite movie of all time, Gentlemen Prefer Blondes. So that's book one in the trilogy. Book two is The Seven Month Itch, and as you see they have these lovely matching covers. So this time she's living the high life in Manhattan, literally in her soon to be stepmother's Tribeca penthouse apartment. And things couldn't be better, or so she thinks, and still things go to go horribly wrong. All of a sudden she's starting to feel the need to pull at her collar. It's summer in NYC and things are heating up fast. So basically, yeah continues on where the first one let off and they're all named after Marilyn films and the third one which has a lovely purplish calorie tone is how to date a millionaire and in this time she's about to become big sister twice over her movie star stepmother Holly is pregnant with twins and needs a last minute vacation with an hours Nessa her dad Holly, her best friend Alexa, tag along cousin Nat, are on a private jet and headed for some rest and relaxation Hawaiian style. Except that on Hit and the Sand there's not a lot of rest and relaxation to be found. Holly's blood pressure skyrockets, Nat is bronze beach boy crazy, and what's with the three cute guys living upstairs? So it looks like a little fun little series which I hope to be getting on to soon. The next book is the one that should have been on my bookshelf tour but I missed it and that is Marilyn the Dream by Mate Minguez Ricard. Mate is a collector of Marilyn Monroe and all themes films. She doesn't just collect Marilyn Monroe items, she does collect other film props and movie star stuff. However, um, this was, when was this one published? This was published Okay, doesn't want to tell me. Doesn't say when it was originally published. A good few years ago now. Um, prior to the auction of the Debbie Reynolds collection, I believe. And in it, it basically shows you her Marilyn collection. So, if we have a look, you see some of her. This dress was from How to Marry Minnie, eh? costume from Gentleman for Blondes there. Um, there we go, from The Prince and the Showgirl and I think that should be Love Nest, yeah, Love Nest. Um, various magazines and other things, um, costume that she wore when she rode a pink elephant, invitation to a wedding, some personal effects, checks, personal costumes personal dresses um, and so on. So that's a really nice little book. She's since more, added more things to her collection but it's a really nice overview. The next one is Marilyn Monroe Quotes, uh, Enchanted Spells of an American Beauty and this is just a collection of quotes which is not that brilliant. It's one of these self-published things that anybody could do. I could do one of these but I won't because I won't rip off people. Um, some of these are actually real, some of them aren't and that's the problem with a lot of quote books these days, they just put anything in them. The next one is really quite a special one because this one is, again it's self-published by Michelle Morgan. 
who, as you know, wrote Marilyn or Private and Undisclosed, Becoming Marilyn, um, Thelma Todd, and she also wrote a biography that was recently published on Carol Lombard. She's currently working on a book on Victorian scandals. That's just a few. She's written loads. Um, but this is actually articles. It's called the Marilyn Journal. And it's highlights from the Marilyn Live Society newsletter, volume one, May 1991 to December 1993. Now, back in the early 90s, 1991, Michelle set up a fan club called the Marilyn Live Society for Marilyn Monroe. I was a member from 95 onwards, but I do have some of the original early newsletters. But this is a collection of articles from that time. So, for instance, there's... Um, news in, news uh, file so Marilyn and news from the various years what would you be doing now uh, the anniversary the 30th anniversary um, who would you like to play Marilyn in a film a meeting that they had what is your Marilyn favorite Marilyn photo and then there's things like interviews with um, photographers like Joseph Jasker who she interviewed um, and then various so she went to America in 1992 and there's a big article about her trip to uh, to there and uh, then there's this big uh, article here that was um, a transcript of a, of a feature in Motion Picture Magazine from 1954 where Marilyn talks and it's just got various questions and answers from Marilyn. So it's a really nice little collectible, especially if you were a member of Marilyn Live Society like I was for a long time. The next book was sent to me by Carlton Publishing. It came out in March. It's a reissue of um, Dressing Marilyn by uh, Andrew Hansford. This time it's called Marilyn's Style. It's a little bit smaller than the original, but it is still just as beautiful. Um, and basically it focuses on the man who designed the famous dresses that she wore from the Seven Year Itch to blondes and so on. And there he is with Marilyn. I don't know if you can see him. Can you see him there? There he is. There he is, William Travilla. Um, so this is actually a lovely book and I would advise you, you get it. It's absolutely stunning. I absolutely adore the photographs in here. There we go, there's a, another dressy design there. So there's that one. So that'll be going on the shelf right next to the original one, which I also have in hardback. Next is a book we've already seen on this channel. I have posted a review of this one and that is Marilyn by Bose Hadley. So if you want to have a look, at the online review. I will post the link below. Then there's something called I Met Marilyn by Neil Sean. This is a collection of interviews chronicling Marilyn's life and beyond by those who knew her. This has met with some controversy. It's been self-published. There's been a few of these lately. Um, so for instance, I haven't actually read this. I did start it but I haven't finished it so it's going on my to-be-read pile. Um, there's a little bit of an introduction and then uh, various people, George Cuker, Buddy Greco, who else have we got? Debbie Reynolds, Blesser, Eddie Fisher, Jane Russell, Jack Lemon, Joan Rivers, Betty Davis, Phil Silvers, and so on. Um, so I haven't read it yet, so I can't really comment on it, but I have heard mixed reviews about this because some of the people aren't very complimentary. Um, some of them have specifically told lies about her in the past so it's very hard to know but I will be getting to that soon and finally the book that I've been waiting for is Marilyn Man in Manhattan Her Year of Joy by Elizabeth Winder or Winder I've been waiting for this for a while and it's a nice size I mean it's not a bad size book for one year in a person's life the other thing I don't like about it is it's got deckled edges and I hate deckled edges because I think it looks like you haven't, the book hasn't finished. It just doesn't look like somebody's finished the book off properly. That's just my personal thing. Lovely yellow in pages. I do like the colour and it's a very nice, if I take the cover off, sort of a steel grey book. But if you look, you can just see it. there's a picture, there's the flat iron built in in New York. I can't, you can't read it but it, trust me that's the flat iron building in New York. Um, so yes I'm really looking forward to getting on to this one as soon as I finish my workload of books that I've got to review for NetGalley and publishers who sent me their books for blog tours and things that I'm currently behind on because of all the colouring. So yes that is my Marilyn book haul for now.
I'll be collecting another 10 books and then I will do another Marilyn book haul if you want me to to review any of the books I haven't reviewed already let me know um, and I will happily do that once I've read them I hope you've enjoyed this Marilyn book haul there will be more Marilyn videos to come I'm sure as as we finish decorating and sorting out our house as you can see there's stuff everywhere behind me my desk <laughs> uh, but yeah if you've liked this video leave me a comment below don't forget to like share and subscribe and I will see you soon booktube bye